What's going on folks? I'm going to show you how you would test a car battery to make sure that it's good or not. Pretty much on these batteries it should be around 12.6 to 12.9 worth of voltage coming out of your battery. So I'm going to be testing this battery with this voltmeter right here pretty much that should tell me if it's good or not. And on your voltmeter what you're going to want to do is go to DC basically direct current and you want to put it on about the 20 volt. That should be good enough for you to test this battery with. So turn your multimeter to DC and to 20 volt. Once you have that done, now all you have to do is take your probes. When you're testing these batteries, what you want to do first is you want to use your negative one first. You want to take your black one onto your, this is your negative on your battery. And over here, you'll see your positive on your battery. So you want to first take your black probe or your negative and put it inside. And next you want to take your pot, your red probe and put it inside. And if you see on the multimeter, if you look down, it's reading 12.92, which tells me this is this battery is reading the correct voltage, basically reading. It still necessarily doesn't mean this battery is good because you also have to have your cranking amps on it, which means when your vehicle is starting up, this voltage on this shouldn't drop down, I say below 10. And if it does, it should come right back up. If it goes too far below 10, that tells you that even though the voltage on this battery is reading correct right around 12.9 around there this battery still could be bad because when you're trying to start your vehicle with it if it goes down too low to tell you it's bad so now i'm gonna go out and put the battery in the vehicle and i'm gonna put the multimeter on it so then you can see what happens when your car is starting it to make sure this battery is good all right folks so as you can see now pretty much I pretty much had uh, hooked the, the battery up into the vehicle now. So now I'm going to be doing is testing the, the cold crank amps on it. Basically how much the crank power is. If you look at the multimeter, if you look at it right now, always when you're testing your battery, you always want to make sure that you touch the, the, the negative first, and then you want to touch the positive. You look at the, you look at the multimeter, look at the, the reading on it, and it should... See it? It's gonna say it says 12, 6, 7 pretty much. So it says 12, 6, 7 right there. So now what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it on there while the vehicle's been started, and you should be able to read and see what it you'll see it drop down, but it shouldn't go too low. Alright, I'm gonna start it. Watch the multimeter. Start it. You see how it went down, but then it came right back up pretty much. Now it's above 12 because that tells me that my alternator is charging the battery now and that's the reason why it's up higher like that now. So this is how I know now that this battery, go and turn it off. This, so this tells me right here pretty much that this battery is good. The reading was right when it was just being read without trying to crank it. Then when we cranked it, it dropped down to around 10, but then it popped right back up. And then it was actually going higher around 14 because it's um, because now the alternator is charging the battery. All right, folks, once again, this is how you would test your car battery to make sure your car battery is good by testing it with a multimeter on your DC current to make sure it reads around 12. 6 are a little bit up as well as how to test it in your vehicle to make sure that the, the cranking when it cranks up that it's still good all right please check out our helpful videos please like subscribe and share thanks